Howdy folks! So, just checking in. It's been a week. Has it really been a week? Check the calendar. Yeah, it's been a week since we started kind of the online course format. Hi, what a week it's been. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to check in, see how y'all are doing. I want to thank you all for responding to the check-in assignment. I think I got everybody to respond to the email, so I want to thank you all for responding to the check-in assignment and giving me some great ideas of some great suites. It was really nice to hear from all of you. So yeah, so I wanted to thank you guys for that. And just to kind of let you guys know that apparently we're moving forward and we're shifting to online classes for the remainder of the semester and possibly the summer. So yeah, so I just wanted to kind of have a chance to kind of talk to you guys. Um, I really miss all of you. I know every professor here on campus can say the same thing. Every professor that I talk to has said that they miss having students around. I come to my office still pretty much every day because I don't own a computer, which is ironic that I teach computer science courses, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I come into my office pretty much every day. And so I see how empty this place looks when there aren't any students around. And yeah, you guys definitely help make this campus a lot more lively and in my opinion, a lot more fun place to be. Um, one of the things that first drew me to this campus is the community and yes the community i'm sure is still there but at the same time it's just different when you can't really see the visual community um, as well because of all um, these social distancing and everything like that which again not complaining about that i understand that it's necessary to stop the spread of this but at the same time it just kind of stinks. I don't know. It's not the most ideal situation. Um, so again, just wanted to check in, see how things were going, see how you guys were faring with the online class. If you have any suggestions, again, feel free to pop me an email. Again, I come to my office pretty much every day and check my email. So yeah. Okay, so the main reason that I'm recording this is for my computer class, so this next week is review for the exam, which I was hoping that we were going to take when I came back, but we aren't, so I'll have to figure that out. Yay! All right. So this next week is the review for the exam, and for that class, um, we do a Jeopardy review. And for the Je first Jeopardy review, I go through and hum the Jeopardy theme song. And that elicits polite applause because, again, they acknowledge that I control their grades, so they feel somewhat required to patronize me. Which, it is what it is. I'm not complaining, but, yeah. So then the second exam, we do COM 104 Double Jeopardy. And for that, I always bring out my piano tie. But, since this is online... The slides are uploaded on the LMS, but you don't get to hear my piano time. So growing up, like I said, I used to take piano lessons. Um, as I mentioned in one of my jokes and one of my stories, um, growing up I was a keyboardist in a band. Um, but I used to take piano lessons. And the piano is not really necessarily a portable instrument. At least, not really. I mean, if you want to haul a piano around, I mean, even if you want to move a piano, People like charge extra for that. So the piano is not really a portable instrument and I don't own a guitar. Working on that <laughs> on my university professor's salary. Stow it away money for the guitar. Um, but yeah, so when I graduated, let's see. I think this would be when I graduated from USD. So when I graduated from USD with my master's, uh, my mother um, got me this piano tie. So it actually plays here, so I can play any song in the key of C. Um, so the main purpose of this video is just so that I can play you guys the Jeopardy theme song on the piano tie, so that you can listen to that before you do the slides, if you're in my Common 104 class. And if you're in my math class, 
you just get to listen to this as well. So yeah, so with no further ado, I guess here it goes. Bum. I'll give you time to applaud. Thank you. Thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. You've been a wonderful audience. Please stop. Please stop. Just kidding. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, that's enough. All right. So the other reason that I want to do this is because I know I post jokes in my video lectures. However, you don't necessarily get to hear the jokes from me. So I wanted to do a video of me telling you a joke because that's the type of person that I am. I'm a person who loves jokes, and right now, I'm all by myself in kind of social isolation, so I don't really get to tell anybody jokes. So here's my excuse to say a joke or two. Um, so yeah, so let's see, which one do we want to do? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that one. All right. So in classifying um, substances based on how they conduct heat and electricity, there are kind of three main classes of substance. Um, so there's insulators. Um, so insulators don't conduct, conduct heat or electricity very well. Um, so some examples of insulators are things like wood. Um, so you can't really, um, electric current doesn't really flow very well through wood. Um, there are conductors. So conductors um, are substances that offer little resistance um, to the flow of electricity through them. So these are things like metal. Um, most metals are conductors, at least most of the metals that we think of, like copper and different things like that, which is why a lot of times when you have like wiring, a lot of the times the wiring is um, metal. All right, and then there's another class of substances that are known as superconductors. Um, so superconductors offer no resistance to the flow of electricity. So pretty much what you need to know for the joke, superconductors, no resistance. Okay, so. The superconductor goes into Cooper's Cafe. It's Cooper's Cafe, yes. So the superconductor goes into Cooper's Cafe. So he goes into Cooper's Cafe, and the person behind the counter says, Hey, you're not allowed in here. We're doing social distancing. You aren't allowed in here. There's not supposed to be anything in here. So get out. So the superconductor left without any resistance. Because he's super. I, I thought it was clever, and like I said, I'm tired of not having anybody to tell a joke to, so I would just tell it to a camera and see if you guys watch it. We'll see what happens. But yeah, again, just really wanted to check in with you guys, play my musical tie, tell you guys a joke, and hope that you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy, and hopefully you're not getting too stir crazy. And to say that I really, 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 really look forward to seeing you all again after this is all over, hopefully. Um, so, yeah. So, again, just wanted to say that I miss you guys, and I hope you guys are doing well. God bless.